Very interested in knowing how many hours of sleep you got last night. Uh, I don't know, about six, uh, five or six, I think. Five? I don't know. I, I feel like we know part of the answer to this because you were trapped in Westworld for a while. Um, uh, but, but how, I mean, on a, re- a regular day for you, are you, are, you, are you sleeping? You're not sleeping a lot, right? Well, geez, do I look that bad? <laughs> no. Um, you look great. Oh, but thanks. we just imagine with the amount of responsibilities, with the amount of, you know, with, with what you've got going on, do these problems still keep you up at night or do you think we're on our way to solving them? Well, right now, the only things that are really stressing me out in a big way are AI, obviously. Um, that's like always there. And, uh, and uh, I'm working really hard on Tesla Model 3 production. Um, and uh, we're making good progress, but it's hugely hard work. But those are the two most stressful things in my life right now. At what time do you get up normally in the morning? Uh, for me, it's usually about uh, 7. 7, okay. Um, but I go to bed late, so usually it's, I go to bed around uh, 1 a.m. or so. 1 a.m. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you start day with a real breakfast or just with a coffee or with a water? You know, that also varies a lot. Um, I, I think it's probably true that, if you, that having a good breakfast is, is a good idea, but um, usually I don't have time for that, so um, sometimes, uh, sometimes it's, it's made for me, but um, probably half the time. I don't have any breakfast. I had to have like coffee or something like that. And a Mars bar with it? <laughs> Mars bar, sure. And I, well, I'm trying to cut down on the on on sweet stuff. So, um, but I think I mean I think I probably should have like a an omelet and a coffee or something like that. That seems like probably the right thing. And sometimes I do have that. Okay, so you're running. You're CEO of two companies. You're chairman of Solar City. Talk about time management. How on earth do you do this? Well, Do you get any sleep? Uh, yeah, sometimes not enough. Sleep is, is really great. Because uh, if you, I find if I don't get enough sleep, then I'm, I'm quite grumpy. Um, I mean, obviously, I think most people are that way. Um, <laughs> and, and, and also, um, like I try to sort of figure out what's the right amount of sleep. Because I, I found I could have, I could drop below a certain threshold of sleep. And although I'd be awake more hours and I could sustain it, I would get less done because... Um, my mental acuity would be affected. Um, so I found generally the right number for me is around six to six and a half hours on average per night. Right. Um, That's not too bad. Yeah. Right. And any other tips that is on... That's an average, though. <laughs> right. Any other tips on, on just managing to run two companies simultaneously? I mean, do you, do you find... I mean, I know you're up here <clears throat> Monday, Tuesday. Is it all Tesla when you're up in Silicon Valley and all SpaceX well, Wednesday, Thursday? It, 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 uh, Having a sort of a, um, having a smartphone is incredibly helpful because that means you can do email during um, interstitial periods. Like if you're in a car, you're walking in the bathroom, everywhere, you, know, you can do email practically when you're awake, um, and uh, and so it's, that's really helpful to have email for SpaceX and, and Tesla integrated on, on my phone, um, and then. Uh, and, and then it's just you have to apply a lot of hours to actual working, actually working. So the, the way I generally do it is I'll be uh, working at SpaceX on Monday and then Monday night fly to the Bay Area, uh, spend Tuesday and Wednesday in the Bay Area, then at, at Tesla, and then fly back on Wednesday night, spend Thursday and Friday at SpaceX. Um, in, in, in the last several months, then I, I would fly back here on a Saturday um, and either spend Saturday and Sunday at Tesla uh, or spend Saturday at Tesla and Sunday at SpaceX. Um. <laughs> and, where, and where do the boys fit in? You have five sons. Um, yeah. <laughs> do I, they, I do they tag along with Dad on some of these they, trips? I do drag them along on a lot of things, actually. Um, they're remarkably unimpressed by... <laughs> <laughs> What the cable is doing is near perfect uh, control on freeways, uh, even where there's no cars, um, and um, near perfect control in any traffic situation where it's tracking a vehicle. So that's um, yeah, I have a different one. Hello. Hello. Um, yes, yeah, so that's going to get better. Uh, one of the things we're also working on is the mapping solution. 
Okay. Uh, my, if, if I seem a little ragged, by the way, it's that I literally had one hour of sleep in the, uh, in the last 48 hours. Um, so, um, so the, 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 I think the net result is, um, you know, basically, in about two years, we should have Model 3 plus full autonomy. Yeah, which we think quite transformative. So the three will have autonomy. What do you mean by all? Yes. All people have autonomy. Yeah. It doesn't work so well in the countryside. It, it's, it's the, the current water pilot does not work on windy roads in the countryside. <laughs> what do you mean by full autonomy? Yeah, full autonomy, yes. Without um, No human intervention required. Yeah. Okay. More than the human intervention optional. Um, like probably two years, worst case three years. But that's the difference. Uh, regulatory approval is, is a separate track. But in terms of if it would be technologically done, it's in the two to, year, two to three year time frame. Um, and then uh, we've got the, te the Tesla Powerwall and Power Pack. Um, um, some of them are going to sound like, well, you've heard it before, but uh, it's you know, worth re-emphasizing. I think the first is uh, you need to work, if you, if, depending upon how well you want to do, and particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what, what does super hard mean? Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA. And, uh, we're, we're so hot up, we had just one computer, so the, 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 the website was up during the day, uh, and I was coding at night, seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period, and in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So uh, work hard, like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour, that's, that's the, the thing I would, I would say, if, if you, particularly if you're starting a company. Um, and, I mean, if you do simple math, say, like, okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100, uh, you'll get twice as, done, as much done in the course of a year as the, as, uh, the other company. Uh, the, the other thing I'd say is that um, if, if you're creating a company or if you're joining a company, uh, the most important thing is to, uh, is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing, that you really respect, or... If, you, if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is is a group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. And so depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. So do everything you can to, to gather great people uh, if, if you're creating a company. Um, then I'd say focus on, on signal over noise. Um, a lot of companies get, get confused. They, they spend money on things that don't actually make the product better. So, for example, at, at Tesla, we've, we've never spent any money on advertising. Um, we, we put all of the money into R&D and, and manufacturing and design to try to make the car as good as possible. Um, and uh, I, I think that's, that's, that's the way to go. So, for, for any given company, just can, can keep thinking about are these efforts that p people are, are expending, are they resulting in a better product or service? And if they're not, stop those efforts. Um, and then the, the, the final thing is, is to sort of, is, is don't, don't just follow the trend. So um, you may have heard me say it to, to, that it's good to think in terms of the, the physics approach of first principles, uh, which is rather than reasoning by analogy, you boil things down to the most fundamental truths you can imagine, and you reason up from there. And this is a good way to figure out if, if, if something really makes sense or if it's just what everybody else is doing. Um, it, it, it's hard to think that way. You can't think, think that way about everything. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, but if you're trying to do something new, it's the best way to think. Um, and that framework was developed by, by physicists to figure out counterintuitive things um, like quantum mechanics. So 
it's really a powerful, powerful method. Um, and uh, anyway, so that's, and, and then I think that the final thing I would encourage you to do is, now is the time to take risk. Uh, you don't have, <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't have, you don't have kids, uh, your, your obligation, well, sorry, I mean, <laughs> probably not kids. Um, the, 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 uh, but, but as you, as you get older, your obligations increase. So you, the, and once you have a family, you start taking risk, not just for yourself, but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time t to do that. Uh, before you, before you have those obligations. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now, do something bold. Um, you won't regret it. Thank you. <laughs>